Hey guys, welcome welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, it's Ndagire. Thanks for coming. Guys, last week was my birthday. Thank you for everybody that sent me, you know, blessings. I thank you guys. Thank you so much. And excuse why I'm like this because apparently in the last video people were like, "Well, we can't hear you." And I adjusted and then apparently I have to hold the microphone and I hope it's better now. So in today's video, this is something that I've encountered a lot in the comments. Like most times, because I tell you guys to come into the motherland, whichever African country that you want to go to, just come. It's your motherland, right? And the most comment is when people are asking me, you know, I am gay and I think in the motherland I will not be welcomed. What is the take of being homosexual in Africa? guys let's talk about it if you are coming to uganda or africa in particular you should know that the continent itself is cultured it has its own morals it has its own way of living but specifically let me talk about uganda my country if you are planning to come to uganda you should know we are we have diversity in the way that we believe we have a lot of christians a lot of muslims a lot of spiritual people culture people if there is one thing that we all know and agree on. It's gayism is not allowed. As a Ugandan, when I was growing up, I could see people and I could know they are gay because to me, being gay is being a lesbian or, you know, same sex, man, man, girl, girl. These things of transgender, these things of uh, trans, everything that is happening in the world today, we don't know that. We just know if you're gay, you're either a man and a man or a woman and a woman. The other things that came around today, we do not know. So we just put them in a same box and that's it. But then still, if you're coming to Uganda, you should know the president himself of the country has been very strong when it comes to homosexuality for a very long time. He's been really like strong on it actually let me play for you a clip so that you can see and then we continue with the video i want to congratulate the ugandan believers for rejecting uh, homosexuality i have been we have, we have been telling them please this problem of, of homosexuality is not something that you should normalize and celebrate i told them that it is true that there were some few homosexuals here before before the europeans came here i had heard of some few stories but it was clear that okay. this this was a deviation from normal like you can have somebody with the six fingers instead of, of five but now the Europeans because they don't listen they don't respect other people's views they okay. want to turn the abnormal into normal and force, force, force it on others and the problem that we actually have is not actually receiving you but the fact that you have to put your sexuality first like if you are to introduce yourself you want to show me how your sexuality is i want to know you as a person i don't need to know your sexual preference i mean if you're going to south africa it's okay if you go to south africa it's very legal you can go and have fun enjoy be free it's okay it's different in other african countries when you come to uganda as a female gay or as a male gay we will not know unless you're trying to push it in our faces i'm not trying to say it has never happened in uganda or we don't know that it exists we know people who are but they don't show affection it's more of a society of we know but don't talk about it i mean even in churches in mosques in cultural places they preach about these things we just don't give importance to them if you are coming as a black American, come with a mindset of I'm going to another country and don't come with your sexuality as your label. Come as a human being. Also, we don't do affections. Like affections in Africa are very different. We, we, okay, we hold hands in relationships. I'll make a video about that. But if you are a man, especially from America, and people see you holding hands with men, Ooh, you're going to get yourself in trouble let me tell you like men don't hold hands that way actually in some of the comments that i was getting it was mostly coming from women especially women who are lesbians and what i can say about it is as a woman i don't know if you'll be crucified that much because if you come into uganda you're going to see girls 
uh more touchy touchy we touch each other like you know people see it as something cute like it's not something that is too much maybe now they would they will be suspicious because it's now being pushed into the african continent but like as a woman i don't think it will be much of a problem like i said you don't show affection in african societies you don't show romance in open day times in african cultures it's like something that we see as private we will judge you unless you show that you want to push yourself sexually to us and now it's even crazy because we actually had a demonstration from muslims they really don't want the situation to come into uganda at any point this is the clip guys <laughs> So guys, you've seen the video. Those are Ugandan Muslims. They are really strong on how homosexuality is not allowed in Uganda. It's even trending right now. Like really Uganda is trending on that issue. We don't accept it. I personally, I don't accept it, but it doesn't stop me from having people who are homosexuals because at the end of the day, we are all human beings. I just don't need you to push your sexuality in my face. That is the problem I have. And we recently had a musician who had a concert and they kissed on the stage. Let me tell you guys, they were cancelled and forced to apologize to the audience or otherwise they were going to be kicked out of Uganda at some point. My name is Joseph Chameleon Mayanja. I wish to use this opportunity to also apologize uh, to my fans, friends, for the deed shared on stage. I know most of my friends are really offended. I sincerely apologize. They had to apologize. That That's how strong it is. Come knowing you're in a country that has its own rules. And as, as Ugandans, we know that Americans are perverted people, I'm sorry to say. Like when we see you guys, we're like, oh my God, these guys. They're like, they're always doing crazy things. Oh my God, these guys. And so when you come and you start doing these things, even if they've been around, as in homosexuality is in uganda though it's not that dominant people will assume you're the one that brought it in uganda because you are american if you show any affection with your fellow man in uganda people will throw stones at you people will chase you like that is how crazy it is and i'm not trying to scare you but just know we as ugandans don't accept it it's really unacceptable and we've been having issues where they are trying to push the agenda in the little kids in schools and people are really protesting about it like it's not something that we really embrace at any point i can't speak for the majority but it's not allowed in uganda though it exists and if you go to fashion shows actually you're going to see a lot of men women who you can actually spot and know that they are but they don't come to you and tell you hey guy you know i am gay i like men i like women no they don't you just know and leave it at that. Africa is welcome. Africa is very loving. Africa is your home. But if you're coming, you need to leave some cultures of the Americas to America when you're coming into the continent. Like, try as much as you can to leave some behaviors in America before you come into African countries. Otherwise, you will end up being what's the word i don't know maybe crucified maybe that's too much <laughs> i don't know it's not funny but that is it i am not the one who's making laws but that is what it is it's really unacceptable to give respect and giving respect back you know respect our cultures respect us as africans us as ugandans will give you the same respect back now that's it but anyway if you're coming just know that i have a small airbnb for you guys yeah just a small you know place for you to come and get a bit of my african home and experience it if you can and yeah guys that is it for today please comment and tell me what you think are you willing to come if you are gay and are you willing to also respect our cultures because let me be serious to you guys. Africans are very strong on it. The presidents are very strong on it. Religious people, Muslims, cultural people, everybody is very strong on it. And so just come with a cautious mind. Yeah, that's what I have to say about it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.